Uh, really, Southwest Florida Marketing Group, I think, is it's an educational company. It's to help our customers and our future customers in how to better obtain business. Thank those are important to them, and just general, you know, awareness of their business. And uh, so we have. It's not just me. I'm the one that shows up every day. But uh, we have a team behind us, and uh, this is Montana. He shows up every day <laughs> early in the morning. So there you go. And here's the rest of our team. Um, Amanda just joined us recently. She's here today. Um, myself and my wife here. Um, she's the wife from Search and Owner. Also. Okay. Uh, besides our team, we have. Hundreds, well, probably thousands of places that we can go for solutions to help our businesses. And we're, we're part of, let me see if I can make this work. I got to take the enterprise. There's a short video that's uh, prepared by our trade association. And uh, just to give an idea of the size of the industry and a little bit of perspective of you know, who the target audience is. When you're, when you're doing marketing, you want to know who your target audience is. And the biggest target audience is millennials. And they talk about uh, one quarter of the population is millennials. And this is just a, the audio didn't work here. But, uh, basically, the thing about promotional products, I put the tagline in there, promotional products are welcome in places and spaces no other advertising media can touch. So it's a great complement to what you're already doing, whether it's social media, Google paid AdWords, newspaper, radio, it's a great complement, works well with other, other uh, media because People keep it around. One, I think one third of, uh, of the millennial group and probably one third of every group has a promotional product next to them right now. Probably half of you in here have you know, a logo mug, a logo shirt, a pen, or some, well, I guess you have a pen today. <laughs> so, everybody's got something today in front of them with a logo on And 80% uh, of people keep it over a year. So just some stuff from our trade association. And it's a great place. If, if you or a business owner you know wants to go and find out more about promotional products, ppi.org, they have research on there. You can find statistics about you know, really what the effectiveness is of promotional products. The cost per impression is one of the lowest in the media industry for promotional products. And definitely targetability and the uh, longevity of the marketing message. So the message lasts a long time when people keep it in front of them. That's just general stuff about promotional products. And I think that's one of our biggest things is to educate how they can use promotional products to achieve their goals in their marketing campaign. Oh. <clears throat> now, now, now. Oh, here we go. So in this journal, which hopefully everybody got, but if not, let me know, um, there's things to keep in mind when you're doing marketing. Is you know when, when you're selling something, people don't buy what you're selling. Like they're not buying drills. Drill, they're buying drills for the holes. And just like in, in any business, people don't come to you for what you're selling, they come to you what you can do for them. And the promotional product is a marketing tool, it's they're not gonna come for a coffee mug, they're gonna come for one of the reasons. And I have this list, I can get it to you online. There's tons of ways you can use a coffee mug as an example. So we sell coffee. So there's the hundred and nine, I think, on there, ideas. But today, in my short time, what I want to do is do a little bit of a case study of things that we can do and maybe businesses that can apply. So there's a project that's kind of neat. It's uh, the customer came to us with this picture, and it's a tea infuser, okay? And they said, can you do this? Well, we went to research, and we could. So what we did, we eventually got to this item, which I have a sample here. And the reason it's a little different is because the logo that they wanted on the item was not, yeah. it wouldn't fit on the head. And it wouldn't be full color. So away we go. We made a full color logo and a hand tag and they took it to England to promote tourism in Lee County. So one way that we do this is we tie a bunch of resources together and uh, when we do items. So here's the, here's the application today. We had one source that provided the pen. We had one source that provided the sticky notepad in the back. We had another source that did the journal with the message on it. We put things together to create a package that works for what we want to do. Okay. Not quite done yet. 
So I have a few other examples of things that we've done for our customers and, uh, and maybe someone here that can use them. So a few years ago, a local, uh, Fort Myers, uh, non, it's a nonprofit. They service hospitals, police are. They're opening a brand new building and they wanted an item for their staff when they came in. It's, it's a wellness item, it's a thank you gift, it's a welcome to the building item. And this can be used, a cooler item, it's a great wellness gift. And I know someone here that was looking for an idea, a wellness gift, I'm not sure if they looked at this as an option. So I'm gonna give this to Terry to give to Joanne as an idea for a company wellness item. I like it. That's fine, but we can put the logo on it. <laughs> uh, so another project we're working on is a uh, client appreciation event. It was a fishing tournament that we did for a local company. It's an annual event, and they didn't do, we didn't get the actual sample. So this is an example of the shirt they gave to people. It's a long sleeve fishing shirt, full color sublimation. So a lot of businesses want to say thank you to customers. You can do it as a gift item, or you can do it as an experience. So I'm going to give this shirt as an idea for a gift to Brian. If he ever wants to do an event, he could do a fishing event, put full color logo on a fishing shirt. Okay. <laughs> one more, one more. Uh, <laughs> Secret Santa. <laughs> okay. The other thing we did one time is we had a Sun Heart and Citrus in Fort Myers. They uh, had oranges with a mess, orange stress ball relievers, it's just a sample there, that had, bring this in to, your, to our store and get a free ice cream. So by throwing this out at events, baseball games, they got people to come to their store and buy fruit and they got, because they got a free ice cream, but they also got their item back. So, let me give this item to Charlie. If he wants to do a general audience, maybe a golf sponsorship, and give some people cooling towels at the golf sponsorship, or a cleaning box with a full color message on it, maybe the artwork can have be seen in the world of the internet, like a bunch of clutter in the middle of this logo. So there's ways that we can use promotional products to really get results to your business. And uh, so, yeah. In our business, we work really, really hard for our customers to get results. And at the end of the day, we're done. So thank you. Hey.